The narrative of Ariadante is really straightforward. It's a boy, Ariadante, and a girl, Ginevra, and they're in love. Everything seems to be great. Yet into their happy world comes this nasty character, Polonesso, who decides that he wants to split them up so that he can get Ginevra for himself. And I think that we can all relate to that. We understand what it is to believe that someone has cheated on us or to be confused by the idea that we've been dumped. It's just immediately accessible in terms of narrative and the music is astonishingly beautiful. There are two main plot devices to this piece which make it quite a challenge. One of which is its community where people who um, are guilty of fornication, i.e. sex outside of marriage, are punished by death. And the other is that it's a community whereby a trial by combat is considered an appropriate way of judging um, difficult judicial procedures. No community which believes in both of those laws has been in existence for hundreds of years. So we had a challenge straight away. Did we want to set it in a kind of cod fantasy medieval world, a sort of Game of Thrones type world, if you like? Or did we want to try and set it in a world which felt that it was a bit closer to contemporary society? which would help our audience therefore to draw the parallels and ultimately we decided that we wanted to go for the latter. So we took inspiration from sort of neo-puritanical kind of societies, we looked at the way that different religions treat particularly women um, and we've put together a world which has uh, various elements which connect to contemporary society but I hope will also very clearly be an imagined fantasy world. I think that this is an extremely emotional show. There are key dramatic moments for the hero and heroine Ariadante and Ginevra when they express in long arias their grief or confusion or despair about the situations that they find themselves in, which I find emotionally heartbreaking. Um, but there's, there's great variety in this piece as well. There's a lot of joyful music as well as a lot of despairing music. The character of Polinesso is um, deeply devious and um, I think people will have different responses to him. In some ways he's quite an amusing character but in other ways he's incredibly dark. So I hope that our audience will have gone on a, on a strong emotional journey with our principal characters and we'll take different things from it.